It's interesting, this idea of the Big Bang creating the universe. That's what Einstein's theory says. That's textbook cosmology, if you like. But the current textbook picture suggests there was a phase in the universe's life before the Big Bang. If you define the Big Bang as the hot, dense phase from which the universe appeared to sort of burst 13.8 billion years ago, that phase is called inflation. What we think happened is that before the Big Bang, the universe was accelerating exponentially. Fast meaning it was doubling and doubling in size. The numbers are ridiculous. If you started with a universe smaller than a single atom, it would become vastly larger than the entire observable universe, which contains about 350 billion galaxies in less than a million, 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 million millionths of a second. This was a very rapid, exponentially fast expansion. When that expansion stopped, all the energy driving it got dumped into space, heating it up and producing the particles of matter from which we are made, as well as everything we see in the sky. That is what we recognize as the Big Bang. While this might sound fanciful, it is the standard cosmology at the moment. The big questions then become, what started the inflation? What stopped it? And how long did it go on? The answer is, we're not sure. We don't know. In the beginning, there was an infinitely dense, tiny ball of matter that started to expand and eventually gave rise to the atoms, molecules, stars, and galaxies we see today. But what was there before the Big Bang? What was the state of the universe before everything? The universe underwent a breathtaking cosmic expansion, doubling in size at least 80 times in a fraction of a second. This rapid inflation, fueled by a mysterious form of energy that permeated empty space itself, left the universe desolate and cold. Only after that did the hot, dense conditions of the Big Bang emerge. Some theories suggest that inflation doesn't stop all at once. It stops in patches, and every time it stops, you get a universe. These theories, called eternal inflation theories, suggest there might not be just our universe, the bit we can see, but many universes, perhaps an infinite number, being produced all the time. What are we to make of that? That's where modern cosmology currently stands. If cosmic inflation correctly describes what happened before the Big Bang, it may push the ultimate answer to the question of where we came from beyond the reach of science. But that just pushes the question further, because we don't know anything about what came before inflation, and it's doubtful that we'll ever know. There are now theories suggesting, as mentioned, that there may be more than one universe, potentially an infinite number. It's a mind-boggling idea, isn't it? I should add one more thing, if that's true. Some of those theories suggest that what we call the constants of nature, things like the strength of gravity, the speed of light, and the masses of particles, can vary from universe to universe. Then you ask, why is our universe so perfect for life? Why do stars make carbon and oxygen the elements needed for life? Why is everything so beautifully balanced for living things to exist? The answer in these cases is that every universe exists. Every possible combination of the laws of nature exists in different universes. So, obviously, we have to see a universe that allows us to exist. We could ask, how likely is that? But if there are an infinite number of universes, it's inevitable because every possible kind of universe exists. I stress that this is very speculative stuff, but the first thing I said about inflation, the idea of this exponentially fast expansion before the Big Bang, is not speculative. That's mainstream cosmology. The idea that this may lead to multiple labor universes is more speculative, but it's still scientifically valid and people actively research it. Inflation tells us that the period before the Big Bang was extremely cold and empty of everything but space itself, and that space carried energy that stretched the universe to its enormous size and into its initial state before the Big Bang. There are also alternate theories to cosmological inflation that try to explain what caused the initial conditions leading to the Big Bang. One theory suggests there may be extra dimensions in the universe. 
Imagine we're living on a sheet of paper. There could be another universe floating around, implying more spatial dimensions, with our universe just a sheet floating in a larger multiverse. Then, you can ask what happens when they collide. 1. Theory proposes that the Big Bang was caused by two of these sheets, or brains, colliding and separating. When they collide, they heat up, creating something that looks like a Big Bang on that sheet of space and time. This is another theory about what happened before the Big Bang. Brains colliding, giving rise to Big Bangs and multiverse theories. These statements might seem extremely speculative and out of touch with reality, but they have mathematical reasoning behind them. Moreover, theories describing the very early state of the universe have experimental support. The wonderful thing is that we are making measurements now. The experimental basis for all this is something called the cosmic microwave background, radiation, CMB. By looking into the sky, we can see the oldest light in the universe, released 380,000 years after the Big Bang, when the universe cooled enough for atoms to form. At that point, the universe became transparent, and that light has been traveling ever since. Currently, we have a satellite called Planck, a European satellite, taking detailed pictures of this light. That light is like a baby picture of the universe, a scan of the universe in its infancy. By examining the universe in its earliest days, we can see different structures and properties of that light, giving us clues about what happened at the beginning of time. That's where these theories find experimental support. The twin pillars of modern physics are Einstein's general relativity and quantum theory. To understand how the Big Bang emerged and what came before it, it is essential to unite Einstein's theory with quantum theory. Only by achieving such a theory will we be able to answer the ultimate questions in cosmology. What is space? What is time? What is the universe? And where did it all come from? Ard pom par bum. Did it come from the most distant objects in the universe? These objects are 47 billion light years away, making the size of the observable universe 94 billion light years across. If you are wondering how the observable universe can be larger than the time it takes light to travel over the age of the universe, the answer is because the universe has been expanding during this time, causing very distant objects to be further away from us than their light travel time. Most scientists think the entirety of the universe extends way beyond the observable universe, but is there anything beyond the entirety of the universe? Is there anything beyond the universe? Probably not. We suspect quite strongly that our universe could well be infinite in extent. Even now, a bit of the universe, if you just take our universe, it certainly, we're sure, exists far beyond the bit we can see. So why would I say that? Well, if you think about it, the universe, our bit at least, has been around for 13.8 billion years. That means that light has only had 13.8 billion years to travel from the bit that we can see to our eyes. So we can only see as far as light has had time to travel. But we think there's a lot beyond that because of measurements we've made of how the universe is curved and what the structure of the universe is. So it undoubtedly extends beyond the little bubble that we can see. How far it extends is another great question. We don't know, but it could be infinite in extent. Taking into consideration the latest discoveries and measurements in physics, we have attempted to answer the questions, what was there before the Big Bang? How big is our observable universe? And what lies beyond the bit we can see? But are we forgetting something? an important question that naturally arises after we question the beginning of everything. How will the universe end? Well, the current best guess or best estimate is that it will carry on expanding forever. The reason I say that is because the universe is actually accelerating in its expansion, which is a great mystery. Before that discovery, we thought gravity is always attractive, and so it should be slowing the expansion, We've got all these galaxies in the universe, and since the Big Bang, the universe has been expanding, so it should at least be slowing down. There was even a question about whether there is enough matter in it to slow it down so much that it stops and recollapses again. 
But this new discovery, that the universe is accelerating in its expansion, suggests that it will continue to accelerate unless some new physics appears that we don't understand. So, it will just continue to expand forever. Thanks for watching. Did you like this video? Then show your support by subscribing, ringing the bell, and enabling notifications to never miss videos like this, music.